I love this. So colorful. Definitely repping pride. For sure. And then we're celebrating that tonight. We're celebrating Derek, his new line. Tell me, you know, are you excited to be here? Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so proud of Derek. Like there is no one more deserving for this moment. So it's just an honor to be part of it. Really? Now, what, have you checked out the new line yet? What do you think about it? I haven't yet. Okay. I'm very excited because I tend to be kind of afraid of color, but I'm like, you know what? Like we're only getting older here. We only have one life. Let's just dabble in the color. So I'm very, very excited because I can see from right here, like there's some good, vibrant pigments like just yeah. give me all the goods all about the colors. <laughs> definitely we're celebrating pride pride month everything so at new you we are all about health beauty what are your what's your favorite beauty secret definitely skincare like okay. skincare is my jam okay. i have a seven to eight step routine depending on the night wow. and wow. it's definitely you know invigorated my my skin it's you can see it through my makeup, which I think is really important. SPF is kind of like my key. A lot of people don't realize it. It's like you can do all the skincare, you can spend all this money on facials, but if you're not using SPF, then you're just like, it's throw money down the drain. So that's kind of like my, my little key secret. But so many people know that, but they just don't tap into it. They know it, but I feel like they don't, you know, want to bother with putting it on every day. Or they'll think that it's foggy out or, yeah. you know, it's raining and it's like, it doesn't matter. Your skin doesn't discriminate. Put the SPF on. So that's definitely my staple. Okay. So SPF, and you put this on like every time you leave the house, basically? Every single time. If it's not pitch blackout, <laughs> I have SPF on. Okay. Do you have a favorite? Favorite sunscreen? Um, right now, I'm using Skin Better. It's actually kind of changed my skin. Um, my dermatologist recommended it because I have acne prone skin. And in about three weeks, my skin is completely cleared up, which yeah, your skin, looks really your skin looks great. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm like, ah, I said that and I'm like, what? Girl, let me tell you, I have had adult acne like nobody's business. I was like, I turned 26 at, at like, you know, this, I'm 31 now, but when I turned 26, I started getting all these breakouts and I'm like, okay, I'm a model. I can't have this happening. And I've tried everything. You know, I, I went with all of the cliche like TikTok things and I was like, you know what, I just need to trust my dermatologist because they can see what my skin actually needs. And I think that's really important. Yeah, very important to have a good dermatologist. That's another secret. Yes, absolutely. Get your skin checked, get your body checked. I'm very big on that. I lost my grandmother to melanoma, so I'm very particular about making sure that your skin is healthy. Um, I'm, I always say I'm afraid of the sun. I live in a spray tan. So I'm, I'm just, I'm all about skin health. Skin health, perfect. Now when it comes to makeup, you said that you're a little more into, now I can tell you like a natural palette. <laughs> yes, I definitely like a natural palette. Every now and again, I like to step out of the box, but I kind of just know what works for my skin. And being in the industry, as soon as you hit 30, you feel like you have a foot in the grave. I mean, let's just be honest here. So I'm like, okay, whatever can make me look younger, just make me look younger. <laughs> so it's always a natural palette, you know, kind of going lighter, nudes, bronzy. That's kind of my, my staple for sure. Now, what about fashion? You're very bright tonight. We're heading into summer. Listen, for the first time in my life, I'm not in sweatpants, all right? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely love to kind of spice up my wardrobe every now and again. Being that it's pride, I was like, I saw this dress in my closet, it hasn't been worn, it had a tag on, I was like, all right, let's go. Yeah. Then I saw the shoes that match perfectly, and I was like, all right, let's go. And it was like a match made in heaven. Yeah. I, of course, I always go for darker colors. I love gem tones. They really like reflect well on my skin. But tonight I was like, you know what, let's go out of the box. Let's have some fun. Yeah, definitely. No, I think it's perfect. Your outfit's perfect for tonight. So what about health, fitness? What do you do to take care of, you know, your health? Well, I think that, you know, really stimulating your mental health is actually just as important as your physical health. That's something that I'm very passionate about because I do struggle with mental health myself, especially, you know, life comes at you in all these different ways and you need to learn how to ride the wave. So a lot of times, you know, I, I meditate, I'll take some time just for me where that just kind of just means like allowing myself some grace to just hang out and yeah. not like I'm so addicted to being busy that I, don't, I almost feel guilty when I'm like laying on the couch and I'm like, ooh, a nap would be really good right now. But I'm kind of just allowing myself to go with what I feel like in that moment. 
and I think that it's definitely helping me along with therapy, things like that. I think a lot of people are afraid to talk about those things and they're always like, oh no, I just work out and I feel great. And it's like, yeah, working out does make you feel great, but also you have to tap into the inner part of you and just try and feel good from the inside out.